Hey guys, before this video starts, please subscribe. It really helps the channel and it lets me know that you guys want more tutorials. Um, comment some tutorials I could do, leave a like, and here's the flick tutorial. Alright, what's up guys? So, you guys have obviously enjoyed my last tutorials. I mean, one of them has like 4,500 views. The other one has like 500. So, I decided to do all flicks tutorial. So yeah, here we go. So first flip we, flick we have is the breezy flick. This is kind of what it looks like, just like that. But um, so first things first, you need to have your keybinds. You need to have an arrow roll right keybind. Mine is currently on right button because that's what's comfortable for me. It, you can do arrow left or arrow right. Either one works. So with arrow right, you need to know how to, or with either one, you need to know how to tornado spin. With arrow right, you hold arrow right and then turn left at the same time, and it will do that. That's also how you stall. But um, so that's how you tornado spin right there. Now you need ball on top of your car. You want it a little bit towards the front, but not too much. And then. You want to jump, tornado spin, and then when you're about right there, you want to let go of arrow right, but keep turning left, and then it'll make like that movement. Then make sure you're boosting while you go up a little bit, and then you just backflip once your car is pointing down. And it will make that motion right there. Then with the ball, make sure it's like pretty close to the middle of your car, but a little bit to the front. Set up. This is what it looks like in game though. So yeah, that's it for a breezy. Next up we got the Seba flick. Um so first things first for this. You need to go to your keybinds. Make sure you have an arrow roll right keybind. Um, mine's on right button. You could, you could do arrow left as well. I use arrow right because it's more comfortable for me. Um, then you need to know how to tornado spin, which is this is what it looks like. Which all you have to do is arrow right while turning left, or arrow left while turning right, and it will do that. Um, then if you push A while you do it. It'll stall just like that. You also need to know how to do that for this flick. Um, so yeah, that's really all you need to know for that part. Now for the actual flick, um, it's a lot like a breezy. You need to have the ball on top of your car. Then you need to jump, tornado spin. Then right when you get about right there, you need to let go of arrow right or left but keep turning with your joystick and then it'll look like that then once your car is pointing down instead of back flipping you want to start tornado spinning again and then you want to stall and get a reset off the ball and then just front flip or diagonal flip and that will give you the Seba flick slash cabbage muncher just like that here's what it looks like in game so yeah that's it for the Seba flick next up we got the 180 dash flick which I haven't been very good at today for some reason but um first things first you need to know how to 180 dash it's really simple honestly you just need to jump and turn your car a little to the side just like that and then front flip and then flip cancel by pulling back right after you front flip and then power slide while you do that and it will do that like nice smooth movement so now you just need to do this with the ball and then as soon as you're done doing the dash you just back flip so you want the ball kind of close to the front of your car but not too close just maybe like right just at the top of the window on octane 
Um, and then you want to do the 180 dash so that the back of your car kind of pops the ball back up in the air. And then that should place it perfectly for you to do the actual flick. Um, like that, but you, I missed the flick. It's kind of hard to get consistent at. I'm usually pretty consistent at them. I don't know why I can't do them right now. Here's what they look like. Um, so yeah, next up we got the backwards 180 dash slash hurricane dash flick. Me and my friends call it the hurricane dash. I don't know if people usually call that though. So for the dash part, you just need to flip your car around backwards. And then you need to arrow a little bit, just like the 180 dash. And then just backflip, flip cancel by pulling forward immediately after you backflip. And then hold power slide while you do that. So it should make something like that. Now with the ball, you want the ball pretty close to the middle of your car. So that you can like stay underneath it the entire time. And then you want to kind of pop the ball up with the front of your car right when you do the first part of the flick, the dash part, right there where your car pops up. And then that should set it up good so that you can get the second part of the flick, which usually is just a front flip flick. That's kind of what you're going for. So yeah. That's it for the hurricane flick. Next up we got the no flick slash like I think some people call it like the hay on pop or something like that. The sours pop maybe. I don't know something like that. But basically it's just like front foot flick but you kind of no flip it at the same time. And then you can turn it into like a 180 dash, a back foot flick, a no flip or something like that. So. I switched to Dominus GT because that's more comfortable for me. Um, but you want, when you're dribbling the ball, you want it like in between the hood and the top of your car. Um, on this car, it'd probably be like right where the window starts to go up is where you would want the ball. Then you just need to front flip and flip cancel so that the ball will hit the back of your car about where the atten antenna is on this car um and then that will make like the no flip kind of look kind of hard to get consistent at but once you do it a few times maybe for like 30 minutes or so it's not that hard here's a clip of it in game so yeah i think that's it for those next up we got the tornado flick which I am very bad at, but I'll try my best to explain it. Um, really, you just need to have your keybind on arrow right, so that whenever you jump up and you hold it, it will, you know, arrow right. But um, then you need to know how to tornado spin. You just hold arrow right while turning left or if you chose arrow left you would hold arrow left while turning right and that will create that motion that's also how you stall um but then you need the ball pretty close to the middle of your car um or else it's gonna go too far forward like that and you're not gonna be able to flick it but then you just tornado spin but then once your car's about right there you want to start turning your car forward like this so it's kind of pointing towards your camera um and then you want to backflip and usually you want to flip cancel because that makes it look a lot better otherwise it looks like this and that doesn't really look good so Here's kind of what it looks like. I'll show a clip of what it looks like. Um, so that's it for those. 
Alright guys, last but definitely not least is the double dash flick slash double dash 180 dash flick. Um so first you need to know how to double dash, which you just land on your front left wheel and turn a little bit to the left, just like that. Once you got that down, then you just flip front right and that'll kind of pop your car back up in the air and then you can turn it into another dash. That's how you double dash. I have a better tutorial. Um, it's in my all dashes tutorial. Check that out if you want. But then, for these, the setup is quite different. You want the ball kind of rolling towards you like this. So you can hit it up, double dash, and then you just want to try and get the ball to land right on top of your car. And if you hit it too far on the setup, then it's not going to work because you're not going to be able to reach it. But here's a clip of it. I guess that's it for double dash flick all right guys so if you enjoyed that tutorial please leave a like and subscribe it just lets me know that you guys enjoyed it and it really helps me because then I can like make more tutorials and stuff so make sure you do that let me know what tutorials you guys might want um, so yeah I guess I'll see you guys later peace out